initial driving impressions of the 2006 Chevy Trailblazer SS. This has the 400 horsepower else too. It does have an intake and some headers, so basic bolt-ons. It's maybe not tuned the best, but we're gonna find out exactly how well this 18-year-old Chevy Trailblazer SS is held up. Really dark tint, it has the strip on the top, it has some aftermarket goodies in here, microphone, auto start stop, some gauges. And because I'm not sure how well this one's gonna drive, I'm gonna film my experiences for you, but let's try to go have some fun with it. And if you wanna watch the full review on this, that's probably already been posted on my channel, you at least should be able to search for it. But anyways, let's fire it up. Let's see what this 18-year-old SS Trailblazer has to offer. This is your backup camera. So, use those mirrors, pay attention. So far though, it sounds really nice. Putting into drive is, oh, yep, this doesn't sound the best. And even though it's supposed to do a full circle in about 36 feet, it doesn't feel super agile. Lots of torque going through the transmission every time you shift a gear. So that's kind of interesting how jerky it is. But hopefully this, what Google calls the 4L70, basically an upgraded input shaft on the 4L60. Hopefully this one's pretty interesting. And if you guys want this, if you want to maybe restore it back to life, spend a few grand to make it really clean and nice, you can buy it at the Twin Falls Subaru. I'll link them below. They're a really good dealership to work with. They sell new cars below MSRP and they ship all over the country. So definitely check them out if you're interested. But otherwise, let's go have a good time. And if you guys like anything you see in this video today, please consider liking this video. Comment your thoughts and opinions below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And otherwise, let's get into having some fun in the Trailblazer SS. I was driving through town a few days ago and I saw this on the lot when I was passing the dealership and I was really excited because you never see these on the road. And while this video won't be super objective, a little bit more subjective and driving impressions, hoping you guys have at least half as much fun as I have driving this. But currently just idling, it idles at maybe 800, oh, all over the place. Literally, what the heck is this thing doing? So hopefully this will be reliable enough for us to drive and to finish the full review. Sounds good, I don't know what I think of it shifting though. But whoever buys this for less than $17,000, is getting a pretty rare vehicle. I think they're gonna have a pretty good time with this one. Just light on the accelerator. This is the LT, so it should be all-wheel drive. Should have a slightly nicer interior than the LS, which the SS is based off of those lower trim levels. But it has the LS2 engine. It has some other upgraded goodies. It has SS badging in the seats. And overall, it's just a pretty cool power plant. This was the engine from the 05 and 06 Pontiac GTO from the C5, sorry, the C6, but 05 to 07 Corvette. Unfortunately, this never came with a six-speed Tremec or T56 Magnum type of shifter, just the automatic, just the four-speed, because this is a 20-year-old Chevy, so it comes from a time of old, old transmissions that shift interestingly well at least they're cheap to rebuild because there's not as many components and they're literally everywhere this is basically just an upgraded transmission from a chevy truck or a sierra truck let's give it just a little bit of gas Ooh, it likes to rev it quickly downshifted that was probably second gear maybe third i guess we're gonna see in just a second how this does doing a zero to 60 but so far driving it, it's actually fairly pleasant and it feels more stable going 60 than I was expecting. There's not a ton of road and wind noise. These tires don't look extremely performance focused, but they're, there's enough tread depth on them that they're not kicking up any rocks on this typical two lane each direction country road. And there's not a ton of wind out. The trees aren't dancing around extremely creatively up ahead. So overall, I think it's actually insulated well, and you do get a lot of that six liter V8 rumble. I'm sure with an intake and headers tuned properly, it might make up to about 450 at the crank at the peak, if you're lucky, and a little bit better results under the curve. The steering, there's about this much movement where nothing actually happens. That's probably due to a typical Chevy truck at this point at this point in time when these were created. But you do have the six o'clock handle. You do have Chevy SS on the badges. Again, it's very dark in here, so I'm sorry if you guys can't see as well as I wish you could on camera. 
but it just feels like something special. This feels just like the old uh, SRT8 Jeeps, the 6.1 that I've driven a few of those before. Not quite as nice as a 6.4 Jeep, but it has an LS. Pushrod V8, doesn't have overhead valve train, it has a singular cam which you can upgrade, and in fact, I recommend you do, because this with all wheel drive would be a hoot to do that with. About a third of the gas. Yeah, hopefully this is a solid powertrain for whoever ends up buying this, but I do think this is a vehicle that you should put a little bit more life into, do some correction, maybe change out the wheels or have them polished and fixed up. The roof liner in this, it's kind of interesting because it's disgusting, it's dirty, but it's not like smelling like smoke, so maybe there's an ozone machine in here to break up some of the smell. I don't know, but there's definitely a little bit of work you could do while being not too much of a project that you probably can't drive it across the state or to another state to take it home if that's what you decide to do. I think this overall is a pretty cool vehicle, but let's get to the private road. We'll do a zero to 60. Zero to 60 in the Trailblazer SS. Keep in mind, density altitude is just over a mile above sea level, so this one is down on power 15 to 18%. I honestly don't trust it enough to do an aggressive launch, so we're just gonna basically go off of idle and we'll see what it can do. Bone stock, these are rated for about 5.5 at sea level on the sticky track. I also just realized that the speedometer doesn't work and somehow I missed that earlier. But zero to 60 came in at six seconds flat, so that's actually not too bad. So a six seconds zero to 60 flat actually surprised me quite a bit. It's not as fast as the first generation Grand Cherokee SRT8 that I drove at a similar density altitude, but still this surprised me quite a bit. Even with a baby sized launch to do that or a high five without rollout, it just shows the power of the LS2. These engines, if not tuned horribly, are bulletproof. They're a really good platform and they're kind of underrated. They weren't sold for very long before the engine got bored out and became the LS3. But these, I really like this. This has been a fun driving experience and the more I drive it, the more solid it feels. It looks like the low fuel light just popped on. Maybe I'll pull over for a second. But overall, I think you guys should check out the Trailblazer. I've also driven a Monte Carlo SS. I don't think I've driven the Impala SS, but I just love that this came from a time when GM did a lot of things not very well. Interiors were not the best. There's a lot of hard plastic materials. Thankfully, none of it's cracked. This is probably garage kept, but if you're gonna have a vehicle like this, this level of performance vehicle, why not take even better care of it? Anyways, let me just hop out. If you guys wanna see a quick walk around and wrap this video up, let you hear it idling too. It's way brighter out here. I also realized that part of the reason why it's maybe extra dark in the interior beyond just how dark the tint is, is because I have sunglasses on today. But even though it's not a prime example, it's still a very good example and at about $17,000 or if you can get a bigger discount on it, just reference this video. I think that's not too bad. Otherwise, six liter SS idles pretty good. And with that said, I wish you guys the best. Like this video if you got anything out of it. Subscribe if you haven't already and you wanna watch more of my videos and comment your thoughts and opinions below on the Trailblazer SS. With that said, I wish you guys the best. Take care.